So the bitwise operators are, uh, I'm going to come here, we say with the bitwise operators, the one, first one we're going to see that this guy is going to be binary end. It's going to be binary end. This, this guy is going to be binary end. And there's a pipe here, it's going to be binary or. Or uh, you can put it uppercase. And this guy is going to be here binary XOR and uh, this guy is going to be here uh, uh, binary ones complement or you guys can call it tilde so you guys can go to binary say uh, ones complement for example but most of the people call it say tilde tilde and this one is going to be binary as you guys see in the C++ is going to be binary left shift left shift why is uh, left shift because you guys looking here it's facing toward the sh shift the other way and if you guys looking here binary right shift so here uh, this one here, whatever it gets the value from the left, it shifts it to the this side. Say in the C plus plus, you guys see it's going to be C out, for example. And whatever you guys going to put it here, all whatever your variables, whatever you guys going to put it here, it shifts everything from here to the C out. It moves everything to this side. But if you guys looking like, uh, for example, C in. And uh, you guys gonna put your variables here. So if you put uh, your variable here, this side is shift variable. So what happens, whatever the variables you guys have, it shifts everything from, it shift whatever you guys have, you shift this side and this guy here is shift the other way around, it's going to shift this side. So that's how, because whatever the variable C in is gonna get the value, from the user and assign it going to assign it to the variable but here the c out whatever the value is this side is going to shift it this side and it's going to output it on the screen but in this case whatever the value here the c in is going to get the value from the user and they're going to put it inside your variable so whatever the variable here and you can do your operation on the variable so that's how the binary shift and the binary uh, right works so we're going to go on the hexadecimal if you guys want i have a I don't want to give you guys a headache and uh, hexadecimal hexadecimal table say uh, the zero zero is you call it zero 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 four and the one's gonna be and the one's gonna be zero 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 one and uh, two is gonna be Zero zero one zero and the three is gonna be in a binary. Three is gonna be zero zero one one and the fourth gonna be. You guys uh, wanna write it down? Write it down, but uh, if you don't wanna write it down, don't write, don't write it down. So the fourth one is gonna be zero one hundred. That's the fourth binary, and we're gonna do the five. The five one is gonna be zero one zero one. 0101 and the sixth one is going to be uh, 0110, 0110, that's the sixth and the seventh is going to be uh, 0111 and the eighth one is going to be uh, 1000, 1100 and the ninth one is going to be the ninth one is going to be 1001, that's a binary and the tenth is going to be 10 10 10 10 that's a binary and after that the a starts so we have an a because from here all the way here is the binary that's what you guys number you're going to get number inside the computer so when you guys press 1 the 0001 comes in if you guys press 2 because the computers only know the zeros and ones 
as you guys seen here we do not have like these numbers in computers memory in computer architecture so every time you guys gonna press this six and seven this number is gonna come in so 67 is gonna be you guys gonna see here zero zero and zero and zero one 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 because that's a seven this is gonna be seven and this is gonna six so that this makes it 67 and now imagine if you guys going to run in big numbers it's going to be lots of these binaries floating around inside the computer but that's why the comics computer is fast and the a is one's going to be i'm going to show you the a because that's hexadecimal number and we go from one to ten and a b uh, all the way to e so um, and we don't have uh, that, that should be enough for everything. This is gonna cover everything inside the computer. So the 11 one, we don't have 11, but we have A. And the A, the binary is 10, 11. So the 10, 11 and the B, that's a binary is for the B, 11, 1, 1, 0, 0. That's a B, what about the C? The C the, for the binary for the C is 11, 0, 1. And D, is the binary of the D is going to be 11 uh, 1 1 1 0 so the D and the last one which is E the binary one for this one will be 1 1 1 1 so that's the last binary all right so why we have a binary in computer imagine if you guys having uh, because the computers they don't accept like these numbers they don't know any any of these numbers anything this number they can output these numbers through a pseudo code but we don't know that's a machine this is a machine language these guys here are machine language machine only understand these things all the pictures whatever videos whatever you guys do is all this one the pixels whatever you guys going to see on the pictures is all these ones the videos the movies the render whatever you guys going to see the world everything whatever you guys going to see is zero zero one one they are the atoms of the computer as you guys know the whole universe is made of atoms every atom stick together and they make whole beautiful world and now looking here inside the computer we all having a zero zero one ones and they make the beautiful computer so it is a very very long story it's not coming overnight is while a lot of thousands and millions of people is involved and it started in 1940 40 or 1950 and coming it's a long way every a lot of people hard working people working on this zero zero one ones to make it possible for us to view emails to make uh, phone calls and view fax machine and blah 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 inside the computer uh, from the starting from the calculator and you guys are gonna look in here with all just these numbers you guys are gonna see the entire internet and the entire computer industry stands on these things you guys are gonna see this one zero zero one ones uh, the first the guys who make up computer Intel he decided to put these numbers here because the calculator is also designed on these things and later on he realized he realized that I can do these ones uh, because logical and logical or logical XOR so the binary these things that the, com the entire computer industry in this one works in this one if you if you take up this thing there is no difference between the computer and calculator if you saw calculator and computer starts with Z, it that one's compute and that one calculate, and the computers can also calculate, but the cal calculators can't do anything. Com com anything that computer does, you know why? Because they don't have this thing. They don't have the binary. They don't have a binary and or XOR. If you look in English, if you remove this and English, English becomes meaningless. So, so but inside inside the computer chip memory, there is uh, something called logical, logical place. Where is the process this logical uh, binary? So if you guys look in here, it's called bitwise operator. All right, because as a programmer, you guys are dealing with the computer architecture, and you guys need to be aware that there are binary and binary or and binary XOR. So, and when you guys gonna do C plus plus, I think you guys done C plus plus. You know already uh, what is this means? Binary left left shift and binary right shift. So that's what it is, all the numbers, hexadecimal numbers from one to 10 and from A to E. And that's what all the codes here, you can see that all the codes. So the number eight is 1000, the number nine is 1001, the number 10 is 1010, 1011, 11 1100, 1110 and 1111. So and then you guys gonna see in four because the first computers come in four, four bit. Uh, that's the first computer scanner campaign four bit so now it is the guy then they what they've done is four bit and say put another four bit they make it eight bit 
and this 8 bit so what they've done then then they copy that 8 bit and then make it 16 bit and then they put it together and for example and then they do the 16 bit because they put the 16 bit they make it 32 bit so once the 32 bits done what they've done is that the copy then this one and put another 32 bit makes 64 bit and the next computer is going to be 64 and 64 and you can tell me what's going to be so that's the next computer is going to be so that's how they they uh, the chips made up of only four bit with the four bit they made eight bit and then decide wow this, this looks beautiful and they that when they made eight bit and they put a uh, eight bit and they put another eight bit beside it and they make it 16 bit and they say wow that's even better than this this more powerful then they said then they put another because they already have this 16 bit they put one beside it and make 32 bit they say wow it's more powerful and then when they do the more profit because a lot of people like it so keep in mind money is the main main uh, factor in this ones because a lot of people buy it a lot of people pay attention so the scientists come in with the idea he says we have a 32 bit how about if you put another 32 bit beside it to make 64 bit 64 bit is done and because 64 bit is so powerful this computer my computer is 64 bit it's like a crazy Imagine if you put a 64 bit and you put another 64 bit size, the 128 and the 128 computer is crazy. I don't think we need it at the moment because it's too fast, it's going to be too powerful. Uh, with the 64 bit, I think it's enough, but who knows, maybe technology in uh, one day, Intel is going to bring 128 bit as well. Alright, guys, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any question or comment, leave in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.